Hi, in this video, I'll show you how to enable and configure your developer portals homepage. So let's get started. Right now, I'm in my control plane in the staging environment. And if you look on the right hand side, you will see there's a link to the portal. And if I click on it right now, it will not give me anything because it hasn't been enabled. So let's do that. I'm going to head to my dashboard. And from the left hand side panel, I'm going to choose pages. And here, I'm going to add my first page. So I'm going to call it my portal homepage. Leave the link as a forward slash. You need to check this checkbox saying that this is going to be a home page and select the default home page template. Now you'll see a few different registered fields that are associated with this. And I'm going to start filling these up really quickly just to demonstrate what each of these components represent on that home page. So starting off with Jumbo. The link, the link title. I'm going to keep things very simple and and then I come to my panels. Panel two. And finally, panel three. I'm going to leave my subheading empty and I'm just going to go into save. And now if I go back to my page, which I can either do from the link that I'd opened up previously, or I can open it up from here on the top, open your portal. So as you can see, if you just look at the components here, we have our jumbo section is this top banner. So this is your jumbo section title, the call to action title and the link. And then finally you have these three different columns referring to three different sections or panels, which each have a heading or a title, followed by a little description and a call to action. So this is your base setup and your portal is now ready to go.